this video we'll see how to calculate the loss of domain in large ventral or anterior abdominal wall hernias which is usually asked by surgeons to radiologists i'll show you how to calculate it so we see a hernia case in which anterior abdominal wall hernia is there for the patient so two important sections are required on ct for calculation of loss of domain one is the axial cuts here as we go lower down in the abdomen we can see the bowel herniating through the defect in the anterior abdominal wall into the hernia sac along with the bowel we can see the omentum and its vessels <coughs> yes as it ends next important sequence which we need for calculation of loss of domain are the sagittal sections or the sagittal cuts in the sagittal again we can measure the craniocaudal distance of the defect that is a hernia sac containing large bowel with omentum and along with it we can see the omental vessels and few lymph nodes the mesenteric small subcentimetric lymph nodes also present in the hernia sac what does loss of domain or the ratio of loss of domain mean it determines the amount of the peritoneal contents that is bowel omentum etc that is located in the hernia sac this gives a risk of perioperative assessment for complications to calculate loss of domain we need two volumes that is hernia sac volume next is the remnant abdominal cavity volume on axial and sagittal section hernia sac is considered as an ellipse its volume is calculated the remnant abdominal cavity is considered as another ellipse and its volume can be calculated hernia sac volume plus abdominal cavity volume gives us the total peritoneal volume which is needed these are the sections on the actual ct hernia sac volume and abdominal cavity volumes so the formula to calculate volume of an ellipse is you have to measure anterior posterior transverse and craniocaudal distance of each ellipse that is now hernia sac later the abdominal cavity and ap tr cc volume into 0.52 gives the volume of each cavity after knowing the volume of hernia sac and abdominal cavity we'll calculate loss of domain there are two methods one is the sabag method which gives hernia sac volume by total peritoneal volume into 100% so we get it in percentage next is tanaka method in tanaka method it's hernia sac volume by abdominal cavity volume in sabag method more than 20% is abnormal in tanaka method more than 0.25 is abnormal value what does 20% loss of domain mean it means 20% of the total abdominal contents are out into the hernia sac so when hernia is reduced it shows increased surgical complications like increased abdominal cavity pressure and also there is a risk of increased hernia recurrence that's all about loss of domain follow radiology doodles on youtube and instagram for more such videos